I worked in Braunschweig, Germany for the Technical Institute of Braunschweig. And over this last summer, I worked for the Courtyard Marriott in El Salvador, in the capital city of San Salvador. I worked over the summer in Cardiff, Wales. Um, I was a medical photographer trainee. I was interning in Shanghai, China for two months this past year for an Italian law firm called GWA Asia. I did my internship in Gothenburg, Sweden as a test engineer at Volvo. And I worked in Munich in the university research lab for the hospital. I went to Klostau Zellfurt, Germany to study um, the recycling of thermoplastics and I went through Iesta. I went to Dublin, Ireland for an internship at Heresy Records, which was a small one-man Irish classical music record company. The culture is really similar. There are a lot of, it's a lot more independent though. It's a very heavily walking town. Um, so, People don't really have cars there. I did not speak a word of Mandarin. And I actually went and saw local musicians frequently. It's really different, the European culture in general, and then the German have their own set culture that's different. I do not even know how to use a chopstick. It is really hard to get over the fact that they're, they sound charming all the time. Like, the way they have bachelor parties is completely different from the typical, usually American thing. Everyone is very shy. All Swedes are very shy and the way they have marriages and such are different. I, I made a few local friends over there who spoke excellent Chinese and English. It's more relaxed, they're more work oriented too. We met with a few German people from the different labs and we had barbecues and we went to their house and it was a lot, a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the fact that at my co-op I had the opportunity to make my own tasks and I also got to travel to places because my boss really wanted us to experience the culture. Um, I guess a really good experience when I was there is just how beautiful Wales is. I was able to go to a lot of different places in Wales. Oh, uh, one of the funniest things over there is that in Shanghai, every Saturday evening, they have a thing called the Shanghai People's Square Marriage Market. I went on the seven mile hike once <laughs> with the other student that I went with. Um, he kind of encouraged me to go even though I'm not a big walker. So my first evening over there, I saw a bunch of old people with like resumes in their hand walking around to other old people. Um, I really liked hiking in the Alps. It was just amazing and the water was so clear and we got to the top and it, it was just awesome. I loved it. <laughs> So I went up to some dude and asked him, hey, what's going on? My favorite memory is, while I was working there, I met a lot of international students and we decided to travel to Dresden and Leipzig. I, that trip was really memorable because on the way back from Dresden to Leipzig where we were staying, the train broke down. And for three hours we waited and met like other international people and it's something we didn't expect to like happen like we just met these other kids from Germany, France and some from Spain. And suddenly a bunch of people like start look, looking at me and like I was I was like circled by like 20 old Chinese Chinese men. And we really talked to them, we even played Uno with them and learned how we play Uno differently because apparently you this whole bunch of rules set that we didn't know and the fact that my group itself was from different cultures. I have a friend from Greece, Spain, one from Portugal and such. That we had our own rules and like thoughts of how to play the game compared to the German and French students we met. That it really, really let you, like, it really immersed me in how different we are in general. And then my friend like, came to my rescue. He's, he's like, he, he told me what was going on. Apparently, um, in Shanghai, the way it works is that every Saturday evening, parents gather together and try to figure out the blind dates for the sons and daughters. I think one of the experiences I'll remember is I played soccer for 15 years and I went to a soccer match there and it was a lot of fun. We were, uh, the Braunschweig team was playing West Ham and just having everyone really excited about the game, you know, talking about it before, talking about it after, it was, it was a lot of fun to just get that level of excitement about a sport that really doesn't have that big of a fan base in the U.S. Like, it was a funny moment because like, suddenly you feel like you're in so much de demand in a foreign country. 
the coolest thing that happened when I was on there was we actually had as a guest the entire American uh, soccer league team. They were staying with the hotel because they had a friendly match against my country. Unfortunately, I met them the first day we were there, but unfortunately, um, I was going to be the liaison for them. But my vacation started right at that time, so I actually missed getting to know those guys. Really hoping I could have a beer with the American team, but it didn't happen. So. And I learned a lot about not only how to make a car, but I learned so much about the Swedish people because I found they were all so kind, and I got along well with every single one of them. Like by the time I was leaving, I was sad to say goodbye to them. I think the reason why you should do work abroad is because ultimately at the end of the day it doesn't matter what business or company you're going to be working for, chances are there's going to be some international aspect to it. It's a really great experience. I mean, working abroad, it's, it's frightening for some because you're not at home, you're it's somewhere you're not, you're not safe traveling abroad sometimes and you get a little scared but when you face that initial like traveling by yourself, living by yourself, being somewhere unknown by yourself, you feel, you know, more grown up, more encouraged, like you feel more empowered, I guess. I really wanted to do work abroad because I wanted to experience, I specifically chose Ireland because it, I have family there. And um, doing a work abroad lets you experience not only life within like a state that you know, but I got to learn about life in other states because of other interns that I was living with. So it was just a matter of just understanding other people's perspectives and where they came from and I love doing that and it was really insightful. Okay, so having some kind of international background is very huge. I know the couple of interviews that I've had and the career for that we just had, um, it helped a lot Like they were really interested in that and I really played up my experience there and like why it made me more valuable as an employee to them to have that experience. So. It's, it's such a like simple thing later on when someone's like, oh I'm gonna go travel to China for a month by myself. Someone's like, oh my god isn't that scary? You're like, no, I've done it before. It's really, it really re releases you and become, helps you grow more into yourself more. You actually get to really learn something that's important to you because it's within your major and you get more experience in like a global economy and globalization is so big now and it's really important to know how to work with people from different countries and different cultures and Especially with work too, you get to really interact more as opposed to study abroad where you're with a lot of other American students. With the work abroad program, you can definitely learn more about the place that you're in. Well, um, there's a great quote which I, I once read. Um, Life is a book and a man who doesn't travel only reads a page. So work abroad is really a very, very good way. Work abroad or even study abroad is a really good way to know that there is a world beyond your country, that there are people living a completely different life than you are, and yet you're also similar. Um, I think you should do a work abroad because it looks amazing on your resume, <laughs> uh, mainly because they see that you have jumped out of your comfort zone and gone into a culture that you are not familiar with um, and do something that works toward what you want to do outside of college. So you're like going that extra mile to be even better at what you do when you leave. I think this was a really good experience because not only did I learn about a lot about electrical engineering, I also learned a lot about myself. And it's cliche to say that, but it's true. I learned that I can be self-sufficient, I can be more outgoing if I want to be, a lot of different things that really just make me a better person.